What is up everybody? It's Re or Rebel Inks Art here again with another character design challenge. Today's uh, prompt in the spirit of Valentine's Day coming up on us, uh, we have Coffee Cupid. Uh, this one I was very excited about. Um, not just because, you know, I'm, I'm all about that romantic atmosphere that, um, that Valentine's Day has to offer, but also because I work as a barista and so immediately my brain went to this idea of this Cupid who is kind of working undercover at a coffee shop who pairs together the people that they think would be a cute couple by writing each other's numbers on their coffee cups. And so I decided to have fun with that prompt and just go a little funky with it. Uh, so we just have a very cute, upbeat, bubbly kind of character um, with her little cupid wings and her bright smile. Um, and yeah, um, I tried to keep her color scheme both very Valentine's Day-y and then also very coffee-like. So I tried to give her very warm coffee-colored skin and then gave her a uh, very cream-colored hair, kind of like steamed milk, um, and then gave her that pink and brown color scheme that I tend to associate with Valentine's Day. And so we're just heading in there, uh, roughing out the body before we go in to finish up that cleaned up sketch. Initially, I had her kind of like holding a love note behind her back, but then I realized that that was uh, gonna be completely covered up by the apron I was gonna have her wearing, so I ended up putting the love notes in her pockets. There were parts of drawing this that felt... I don't know quite the way to describe the emotion, but it was as I was putting like the little different items in the pockets, like the little pens that I always have to carry at work, I was like, oh, this is drawing a little too much from real life experiences, but I'm really happy with how it turned out and it was a lot of fun to do. So there's those little love notes, put those little sharpies in there. At work we always have those on us so that we can put the dates on things when we open them, but I figured she'd also carry them around so she can doodle those numbers on or draw little hearts and everything in there. You know she is absolutely the master of doing latte art. Draws little hearts and angels and smiley faces and teddy bears. Gave her slightly pointed ears just because I wanted her to feel just a little bit more ethereal. I tried to keep her wings very cartoony. I wanted them to be very simple and cute. And I know Cupid or Eros in um, mythology is not female, but I have a weakness and my weakness is girls. And I really just wanted to have a nice, cute, bubbly, bubbly little Cupid. So maybe she's like Cupid's apprentice. I imagine he can't do all the work by himself at this point. There's too many people. So I gave her a cute button-down short shirt. And then some skinny jeans and some comfy shoes. And we're going in with the line art. Decided heart stickers were gonna be a nice, fun way to emphasize that these were love notes. And then on the coffee cup, I ended up putting a little, like, Cupid logo as if the name of the coffee shop. Um, I'm not sure what the name of the coffee shop would be, but I feel like it definitely has that whole kind of angelic motive going to it. I did say she was undercover. I didn't say she was good at being undercover. Here we are, just finishing up those wings. And then I'm fixing a little bit in the line art before throwing down some sloppy colors. And we're gonna see when I start cleaning up those colors, I end up changing the eye color because I felt like there was just a little bit too much pink in this design. So I gave her some golden eyes just because I felt like that would help with the whole kind of cupidy, angelic feeling. And then continuing on, cleaning up these colors, 
trying to get her shirt all nice and cleaned up. We're gonna see, I'm gonna go in and add in a fun little heart pattern on her shirt. And then one thing before we get to it, um, just because it was something that's a little different from normal, um, I don't end up doing the one color shading like I normally do. I go back to uh, a kind of shading that I've done a couple times in my videos, where I just shade um, based on the color that I'm shading on top of, so going through and shading each color individually. Um, which, it's not... The one color shading isn't a bad thing. It's very convenient. It's a nice shortcut for when I want to create more art, but I don't have as much time, and it's a nice little corner that I can afford to cut. But it's a corner that I've been cutting too much, and because of it, my arts, I've not been as happy with it lately. So I'm making myself go back and put those, you know, little bits of polish that I've seemed to be skipping lately, because uh, I need to, I need to polish things up a little more. I need to make my art shine. And here we are shading that shirt, putting those last little details on. I accidentally did just I accidentally just touched my mic. I was gonna say that I hope the sound didn't pick up, uh, but then I just absolutely butchered uh, speaking. So at this point, it's all gone downhill. Um, oh well. Putting that little background on there, that circle, and then our outline like we normally do, and here we are seeing that finished illustration. I think she's adorable! She was a ton of fun to draw, um, and I kind of want to mess with her more. I think she's a really fun character. I say this at the end of like every video. I need to figure out a better way to say that I like how a character <laughs> turned out, because I want to mess with all these characters. I want to have fun with them. And a couple of people have suggested like doing a webcomic. It's something I've thought about myself, um, but I don't exactly have the greatest history with doing webcomics. I've got one um, on a hiatus right now that I just haven't been able to pick back up because I got burnt out on it because I don't know how to do page layouts and it's something that's uh, kind of been eating me up for a while. So I don't know if I'll, you know, do any kind of like long term webcomic with these guys, but I don't know, maybe we'll see some kind of project emerge with them. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you like our little coffee cupid. Um, and until you, I see you guys again, I hope you have a lovely day. I hope you eat some great food and I hope you make some awesome art. Bye bye I love you!